Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I wasn't really going to do, I was going to do a video and not publicize it because I've done so many on exactly like this, but this one is a little bit different. You can see it's a bitmap because it's got a square box around it, but in this case, it's got an advantage. It doesn't have any white background. I'll go to object order, back of page, and you can see that it's a good transparent clip art. But what I would do is make it quite a bit smaller and then trace it. Uh, the young lady was trying to change the colors. Well, you can't change the colors until you make it into a vector. So I'm going to go outline clip art, trace. I'm going to take just a second. It does a really good job. Um, but there's a few little things I would do differently and your normal, your trace copy is gonna be on the back. And if you see the difference between the box and not a box, that's your difference. Now, it's pretty good with the exception that it's got some wavy lines. So what we can do, let's make this thing, well, it's two inches. So let's set our nudge factor, get off the yellow. Matter of fact, we don't even need the yellow box anymore. Let's set the nudge factor on three inches. And then we're gonna see if this thing will break apart because it'll be a lot cleaner, to easier to break it apart. So we'll go to object and ungroup, and then we'll just grab some of it and move it over. So you see it's, it's uh, made it a little bit more easily to uh, do something apart. If you break the curve apart, that's what you get, so you can't really do that, but we can go to object, group, and see if we can't ungroup it anymore. But these are individual groups. So this is going to be a lot easier to clean up. And what I say, and I don't know if they're printing this or engraving this, but printing it, I'm thinking, what you could do is just, one, you could use a smoothing tool, but two, you could just grab all those nodes and type in the number 20. That's a little bit too much, maybe. Let's try 10. And it's, I don't really know if that's a percentage, but that looks pretty good and you can always uh, kind of move these you know, handles around and get it maybe more like the shape. I'm not gonna do too many of these. You've got it selected, let's change this to 20. And I just want you to look at the difference of the smoothness between this line and that line. Now, if you don't have X7 or above, you can always just grab nodes and delete center nodes. Whoop. It just make it a little, little bit better, especially on something like this small. You know, maybe take these nodes and delete them and make this a little sharper. And if you see, we, we got it quite a bit narrower, but if we get rid of most of the nodes, we can bring that back and make it a little bit thicker. You know, if, if they're printing this, uh, this particular thing might not even show up, you know, or, or even if they're engraving it, you could uh, make these a little bit thicker lines, you know, go through here and just delete note. But you always want to, you know, you don't want to mess up the integrity of the truck. You know, here's a like part of a light bulb. Uh, this thing might even be easier to be redrawn and, you know, just get rid of, some of these nodes on the outside make the light bulb a little rounder. You know, you've got these tucks and little places. And then like on this part, <clears throat> you can just manipulate these nodes by using the handles to uh, make them a little bit bigger, make them a little bit more whatever they actually are, you know, type shape. You know, if you got two nodes that close together, just delete one. Same thing here, just delete, you know, some interior nodes you know, that's evidently a round object. Let's delete, you know, some more nodes. And if you delete too many nodes, then you're gonna mess up. So if you do that on both, especially like on the square, this would almost be a good candidate to just redraw. But if you look what I'm doing, I'm just deleting nodes. All I'm doing is taking the shape tool. And these are two different facets. And this case, this might be a good thing to do right here. After you, I'm just deleted that part and let's take a few more nodes out, get a little more perfect. I don't like that. So you can always back up. 
Then what you can do is take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in and not just move it out of the way. <clears throat> and you could actually delete that. And now you've got a whole different shape and you could clean that up, make it a little smaller. So we can just take hold down the shift key to make it grow from the inside and then just bring it back and you've got a lot better looking item. Everything else looks good. The truck looks good. You know, same thing here. You've got some wavy lines and you've also got this. This shouldn't affect anything, but these nodes that are connected somehow, you can see an arrow. I would just delete those nodes that are running across there. Uh, they shouldn't really affect anything. Uh, what they are, they might be little bitty nodes. So you like on those nodes, I just delete them. Now, if you have X7 or above, you could always use a smoothing tool, uh, make it 0.25. That might even be big. And just see how, look how fast and clean it makes a difference. Grab it back. Watch, watch these lines right there. You got to click on the item, but look, I mean, look how it cleaned it up so fast. Now she was, I think her main reason for wanting to do this was to change the color. Well, we could make the whole truck blue. We could make it red. And then you could still, we've still got our nudge factor set on three inches. You could bring those back and you've got a totally different look. And you could change the color in all of them, make them red, make this one yellow. You know, I don't know what she's planning on doing, but a lot of people um, have a little trouble thinking they can change the color of a clip art. Well, you can't change the color of a clip art. You've got to change, you've got to make it a vector first. You know, like that antenna, I'd make sure that antenna is straight and then that I'd use the shape tool, click on it, and just take away most of the nodes. You know, the, the space of the roof here would be a good candidate for the, for the smoothing tool. And if you do not have X7 or above, I mean, look at how quick. I'm just barely touching it, touching it and moving it. And if you did that over your whole item. And, you know, on the truck, we did not... Um, select all the nodes. So let's select all the nodes and go right here and let's just reduce it by, look at this, there's 3,900 nodes. Let's reduce it by 10. Now there's only 731 and it's going to already smooth it out. And then of course just Nudge it back using your left arrow key or your right arrow key, which way you've nudged it. And I'm not saying that you couldn't make, I have to keep going here, that you could not make different parts of the truck different colors. You know, it's not all connected. You know, this total truck was black. You could use the Smart Fill tool and make it green. And right here, you can make that part green, make that part green, make anything, you know, make any color that's enclosed. Of course, now you're doing what you did with the black because there's some leaks there. But any part that's closed, okay, there's one of those nodes that are, has a line and that could cause you a problem. So let's look at it with the shape tool, click on it and just grab that node and then hit delete. And what that did, it took that away. So now, if, if I remove this green, that line stopped it from filling that up. So if we use the smart fill tool. Now the whole tire is filled up. And if you're doing this, you know, I would think, you know, maybe if you're, um, well, let's just try something. Let's back up here. I don't like, I was just using green as a color. And of course I got that line back when I did it. And there's actually another line in the back I see now but that's really easy to get rid of. It's just whoever drew it, you know, um, this one might not be as easy. And then you have to repair that. And then on the other side uh, where we've already done, 
Normally it's gonna be an arrow, but that you can see the arrow. And then just hit the delete key. So what they might wanna do in this case, if they wanted the whole truck black, but they want that headlight white, let's say they are going to uh, uh, print it on you know different, so I'm going to order back a page. If you wanted that light bulb white, and you were going to print it, you could go to a white and make that light bulb white or make the windshield white. Uh, but you have to have it in a vector format first. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.